Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. This is the 3 Series from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the cigarette lighter is located, which fuse you need to check, uh, where you can buy cheap fuses, relays, parts, tools, that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We'll share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So you will have guys specifically three fuses that you will need to check for the cigarette lighter. That's right, three fuses and they could be guys in two different fuse boxes. This car, this car has four different fuse boxes, so we'll be working two of them today. And the first fuse box that we need is right under the hood, open the hood in front of the windshield. You have one cover right here, guys. And once you open that cover, you're going to see a fuse box layout here. And that layout will look just like this one here, okay? But before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below for the cigarette lighter we'll need to check two fuses in this fuse box we need to go to a different one after that this is towards the windshield side that's towards the front of the bmw that's the passenger side driver side of fuses and here we'll need to check guys okay uh, we will uh, need to check fuse number starting from this side at 64 5 6 fuse number 66 right here 20 amp fuse we'll need to check that one then we have 67 8 9 and fuse number 69 66 and 69 after that you need to open the trunk on your bmw under that cargo cover when you pull it out right here you're going to see a fuse box, another one, and it looks just like this one. Here, we'll need to check one more fuse specifically. In that row of fuses here, if we zoom in, that row of fuses, starting from the top, that's fuse 160, 161, 162. That fuse right here will need to be checked, the third fuse, 20 amp fuse. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.